everyone and welcome to HDC Kids at Home. My name is Lydia um, and it is so lovely to have you all watching our video this morning. So I thought that we would start off with a little bit of a warm up. And I know quite a lot of you have been doing the drama class and maybe as part of the drama class you might have been pulling some funny faces to help warm up your face. Some of you could be uh, pros at this. So we are gonna pull some funny faces now. So I thought the first thing that we could do is we can stick our tongues out as far as they can go. So how far can you stick your tongue out? And now, can you get your tongue to touch your nose? My tongue doesn't reach that far, but some of you might be able to do it. Um, and I also thought that we could have our eyes as wide. <gasps> can you have your eyes really wide? And now, could you do a surprise face for me? <gasps> with your eyes really, really wide. Now can you give me your biggest smiley face possible? How big can your smile go? Can you show me all your teeth? Now, this one's a little bit more difficult, but I wondered if you could do a fish face. Can you do this? Oh, I can't do it very well. Do a little bit of a fish face. Good job. Um, why don't you show me your big smiles again? Show me your teeth. Big smiles. <gasps> Well done, you guys all look very funny. Okay, now I thought that we could play a little bit of a game. So we are gonna play charades. Some of you might have played this one before. So I'm gonna act something out and you've got to guess what I'm doing. So just shout out at the screen, what do you think I'm doing? So this is my first action. What do you guys think I'm doing? I was acting out eating, so well done if you got that right. Okay, what am I doing this time? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I was running, so well done if you said running. Okay, um, what am I doing this time? What do you think I'm doing? I was dancing, so if you said dancing, good job. Okay, what am I doing this time? What's this one? What do you think? Crying, guys, that was crying. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. What do you think I'm doing this time? What am I acting out? Well done if you said reading, because that time I was pretending to read. Good job, guys, that was fun. So now we're gonna sit down, we're gonna get comfy, and Rosie is gonna come and bring our story to us this week. So find some space, find somewhere to sit down and get ready. Our story today is taken from the Bible and it's the book of Luke. So the Bible's made of lots of different books. So it's one book with lots of books inside it. And some of you will know that already, but this book is called Luke. And the story that we're gonna read in here is about the Good Samaritan. And before Jesus tells this story, it's like a parable that he tells. It's a story that he tells so people can learn from it. He's actually talking to a big group of people. There's gonna be some pictures that come up that help you, but just listen as I tell this story. A teacher of the law stood up. He was trying to test Jesus. He said, teacher, what must I do to get life forever? Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? The man answered, love the Lord your God. Love him with all your heart, all your mind and all your strength. You must, and also it says, you must love your neighbour as you love yourself. Jesus said to him, your answer is right. Do this and you will have life forever. But the man wanted to show that the way he was living was right. So he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbour then? To answer this question, Jesus told a story. A man was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Some robbers attacked him. They tore his clothes and beat him. Then they left him lying there, almost dead. It happened that a Jewish priest 
was going down that same road. When the priest saw the man, he walked over to the other side of the road. He did not stop. Next, a Levite, another person who worked in the temple, came there. He went over and looked at the man, but then he also walked away on the other side of the road. Then a Samaritan man came travelling down the road to where the man was hurt. Now I'm going to pause there. A Samaritan in those days, the people that Jesus was talking to would know these three different characters, a Jewish priest, a Levite and a Samaritan. Now a Jewish priest, they would respect, it's a little bit like a vicar, somebody who is very knowledgeable about God's word and should do the right thing, a bit like Jago or Jamie or Tim. They generally should do the right thing because they're a vicar. That's what we can think sometimes. And they've not done the right thing in, in this story. The Jewish priest carried on down the road. A Levite, that's the next person. That's somebody else who might work in the temple. Someone else who's quite important and clever and knowledgeable, who should do the right thing. Perhaps it's a bit like me or Lydia. Somebody who's seen as, as oh, they really love God. They know what they're doing. But even that person here, they didn't do the right thing either. They walked past the man. Now a Samaritan in those days is, I can't know, I don't know whether we have the equivalent today, but the Jews and the Samaritans, so the people Jesus was talking to, and the Samaritans were enemies. They hated each other. It's a bit like if there's somebody at school who's a bully or somebody who's unkind, and you see them as, as different and unkind and bad. And they're right over there to so the bad guys Right over there, you don't like them, you don't talk to them. Let's see what the Samaritan does. So the Samaritan came travelling down the road to where the hurt man was lying. He saw the man and felt sorry for him. The Samaritan went over to him and poured medicine on his wounds and bandaged them. He took the hurt man and put him on his own donkey and took him to a hotel. At the hotel, the Samaritan man took care of him. The next day, the Samaritan man bought two silver coins and gave them to the hotel to pay their way. The Samaritan said, take care of this man. If you spend any more money on him, I will pay it back to you when I come again. Then Jesus said, which of these three men was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? Which one? acted like his friend. The teacher of the law answered, the one who helped him. Jesus said to him, then go and do the same thing. So what we've seen here is somebody loving somebody that they might not normally love. That is what it means to love your neighbour. It's very easy, isn't it, for us to love our friends and our family and the people who are closest to us. But it's quite hard to love somebody who can be a bit unkind or who can be difficult or who can be mean or somebody we see as making bad choices. How do we love them? How do we help them? Now, we talked over the last few weeks of putting God first, putting Jesus first, and that's the sort of thing that brings us happiness and peace. When we put Jesus first, you might remember the jar with Jesus being the biggest thing that goes in the jar first. Then all the other things fit and our life can feel calm and like we can trust that Jesus is looking after us. And when we've done that, there's one more thing. Jesus said there are two precious rules that we are asked to follow. Put him first, love the Lord your God, love him with all your heart and your strength and your mind. That's the first thing he asks us to do. And we learned about that the last few weeks. And the second thing, love your neighbour as you love yourself. So that is this, looking after those people who are around us that even when it's hard to love them, 
we do. So I would like you just to have a think of who is it that sometimes is a bit difficult to love, a bit difficult to be kind to. That could be somebody in your house. It could be your little brother who's always stealing your toys and it's, it's annoying and it makes you cross. Or maybe it could be someone at school that's a bit unkind, a bit difficult. How do we still show them that we want to be kind to them? Maybe it's by letting somebody share your toys. Maybe it's by taking turns on your computer game. Maybe there's a different thing that you could try and do to include somebody who actually, usually you wouldn't want to be friends with. Have a think, and in a second we're going to pray, but we're going to spend 10 seconds just quiet now, thinking about who we're going to try and help this week asking Jesus to help us. Isn't that such a great story? And it teaches us to be kind and loving to everyone. And it teaches us to help those people that we maybe don't like and those people that we don't get along with all that well. And Rosie has asked us to think of someone now who we want to show God's love to. Um, someone who we maybe don't get on with all the time or who we don't like all that much. So we're going to pray together now and as we pray I want you to have that person in your head, I want you to think of that person in your head as we pray together. And today we are going to do a repeating prayer so I'm going to say a line of the prayer and then you guys are going to say it after me and the words will also come up on the screen. So I'll say it once and then we'll say it together, line by line. Okay, so, dear God, dear God, I want to be kind to everyone. I want to be kind to everyone. Please help me to be kind even when I don't feel like it. Please help me to be kind even when I don't feel like it. Show me how to help other people. Show me how to help other people. Even the people that I find hard to love. Even the people that I find hard to love. Please help me to share your love and your joy with everyone. Please help me to share your love and your joy with everyone. Amen. Amen. Good job, guys. Great listening. Um, so we are now going to sing an action song. We're gonna sing a worship song together. So why don't you jump up onto your feet, find some space, find somewhere that you can do your actions and get ready to worship. Sing. It makes me want to sing because 
for HDC Kids at Home. We hope you had a great time and we would love to see you at some point in the week. So we have a few different things going on for you guys in the week. We have schools out for you who are in reception year one or year two and that is on a Wednesday afternoon. We have a Key Stage 2 Connect group, so for those of you in year three, year four or year five and we would love for you to come along, that's also on a Wednesday. Um, and we've also got some drama classes, some drawing classes, lots of different things going on. So get your parents to head to the website and to sign you up if you are interested. And Rosie and I will see you later in the week. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.